Welcome to this video on the difference between learning and education as part of the study skills series. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'd like to slay a few dragons that occasionally creep into classrooms. Let's start with the first one. You're naughty if you get it wrong. Well that's a load of rubbish. Let's suppose that you couldn't swim and you were going to learn in a pool. You'd get it wrong at first and nobody would think anything of it. You haven't got the experience, you haven't got those techniques that work for you. Yet somehow in the classroom you've got to remember everything. And no, that won't happen. Not it won't happen for you, it doesn't happen for any of us. And they might say, oh well you haven't worked hard enough. Well that may or may not be true, but the fact is that you haven't learnt it because it isn't there yet. Some people find that easier than others. So for example, if I told you that the Battle of Hastings was in 1066 and then I said to you, when was the Battle of Hastings? You, having listened intently to this video, would have said, in 1066, Andy. And you'd be right. If I asked you again in a year's time, though, you'd probably have no idea. Learning is short-term. It relies on memory. And anything you don't use, you don't keep. So if in the intervening year you haven't needed to know that the Battle of Hastings was in 1066, you wouldn't know it anymore. And it gets worse. Let's suppose that you always get everything right. And me, I'm seen as the dullard, the one who gets things wrong but eventually gets there in the end. According to the teaching system, you would be the better student. According to my way of looking at things, I would be the better student. You have learnt one thing. You've learnt the right answer. The Battle of Hastings was in 1066. I've learnt lots of things because I've got it wrong and I've learnt what's right the Battle of Hastings was in 1066, but I've also learned why it wasn't in 1954 or why it wasn't in 1703 and probably a bit about what happened then. So I've actually learned more than you have and that would make me a better student in the long term. There is a tyranny of being right. If you're always right and never wrong, you don't learn. Getting it wrong is a success. Mistakes are your friend, not your foe. You shouldn't set out to make mistakes, but if you do make them, well, that's just the way it goes. There's something called cognitive dissonance. It was created by a chap called Festinger in the 1950s. And he claimed that if you're always kicked for something, then you develop a hatred of that something. So for example, a lot of my students tell me, I can't do maths, Andy. And I say, yes, you can. No, 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 my teacher has always said, no. What's happened is that the teacher has explained things in a way that didn't make sense to them. They then take the blame for it not making sense, even though the teacher was the one who didn't make it clear to them and then they're hauled up because they can't do whatever it is. So in the end they say, well if I can't do it, why worry about it? I just don't care. And that's called cognitive dissonance. And if you feel yourself saying, no nah, I can't do that, I don't care, that's what it's all about. It's about there being something down there that you didn't get that was never made clear to you. For example, let me say that you were born on Mars. I have lots of qualifications. I'm a teacher. If I say it, it must be true. Well, you know it isn't. So who would be laughed at? Me for saying you were born on Mars or you for saying that you weren't? The answer is obvious. When it's something as simple as that, you get the right answer. But if I say you're stupid or imply it, because I'm a teacher, because I'm qualified, you take what I'm telling you. 
and that isn't right. I have no more chance of being right about you being born on Mars than I have about you being able to do all the other things that I'm asking you to do. Don't give power to somebody else. If they tell you you can't, it's possible that you may not be able to. If I asked you to jump over the walls behind me, you'd say, I can't do that. That's fine. But if it's something that's understanding, then that is not an issue for you. You just have to find a strategy that works. And if you find a strategy that works for you, then you have got it right.